Ilkal sari Kannada, alakal sire is a traditional form of sari which is a common feminine wear in India. Ilkal sari takes its name from the town of Ilkal in the Bagalkot district of Karnataka state, India. Ilkal saris are woven using cotton warp on the body and art silk warp for border and art silk warp for palu portion of the sari. In some cases instead of art silk, pure silk is also used. Ilkal sari has been accorded geographical indication tag. Its GI tag number is 43. History Ilkal was an ancient weaving centre where the weaving seems to have started in the 8th century AD. The growth of these saris is attributed to the patronage provided by the local chieftains in and around the town of Bellary. The availability of local raw materials helped in the growth of this sari. About 20,000 people in the town of Ilkal are engaged in sari weaving. Uniqueness The uniqueness of sari is joining of the body warp with palu warp with a series of loops locally called as top teni technique. The weaver will gate only 6 yards, 8 yards, 9 yards warp due to above top teni technique. Kandi technique is used for weft through inserting three shuttles. La Palau portion design, top teni seragu normally in top teni seragu three solid portions would be in red color, and in between two portions in white color. Top teni seragu has been regarded as a state symbol and was greatly respected during festival occasions. Traditional borders, I chiki, e gomi, e jari and I v gatadadi, and modern gayathri are unique ones in ilkal saris, width ranging from 2.5 to 4 inches. Border color uniqueness, red usually or maroon dominates. <laughs> Description The peculiar characteristic of the sari is joining the body warp with the palu warp which is locally called as top teni. This technique is only used exclusively at ilkal. If anyone requires ilkal sari one must prepare a warp for every sari. Warp threads for body is prepared separately. Similarly palu warp is prepared separately either with art silk or pure silk depending upon the quality required. Thirdly border portion of warp is prepared as like the palu warp either art silk or pure silk and the color used for palu and on border will be one and the same. In general, the length of the palu will range 16 to 27 inches. The palu threads and body threads are joined in loop technique, a typical method which is locally called as top teni. Features. <laughs> <laughs> The distinctive feature of ilkal saris is the use of a form of embroidery called as kasuti. The designs used in kasuti reflect traditional patterns like palanquins, elephants and lotuses which are embroidered onto ilkal saris. These saris are usually 9 yards in length and the palu of the ilkal sari the part worn over the shoulder carries designs of temple towers. This palu is usually made of red silk with white patterns. The end region of the palu is made up of patterns of different shapes like hanage comb, koti kamli fort ramparts, taputan jower, and rampa mountain range. The border of the sari is very broad 4 to 6 inches and red or maroon in color and is made of different designs with ochre patterns. The sari is either made of cotton, or a mixture of cotton and silk or in pure silk. The colors traditionally used are pomegranate red, brilliant peacock green and parrot green. The saris that are made for bridal wear are made of a particular color called jiri kumakum which is associated with the sindor worn by the wives of the priests in this region. Types of borders The design woven in the length wise borders are mainly three types Gomi more popularly known as ilkal daddy Paraspet subdivided into chiki paris and dod paris Gadi Jeremain body design Stripes Rectangles, squares. Other differences with above broad parameters the ilkal saris differ in matters of size, nature, and quality of yarn used for different portion of sari is also color combination and combinations of designs on the borders and main body of the sari. The beauty of top teni saragu is further enhanced at times by weaving in its middle portion, yet another design known as kayaji. Topic. 
Topic: <laughs> Production. Weaving of ilkal saris is mostly an indoor activity. It is essentially a household enterprise involving active participation of female members. To weave one sari with the help of the handloom, it takes about seven days. We can weave it with the help of the powerloom also. <laughs> <laughs> Methods of production Ilkal traditional saris are produced mainly on pit looms with the combination of three types of different yarns namely silk x silk, silk x cotton, art silk x cotton. Along with the above said yarn combination totally four different traditional designs are produced, they are Chiki, Paris, Gomi, Jari and recently modified traditional design Gayathri. These saris are produced in different lengths 6.00 yards, 8.00 yards, and 9.00 yards with solid as well as contrast borders. The main distinction in these saris is its attached temple type palav locally called as tope teni by interlocking body warp and palav warp using loop system and inserting weft by three shuttles using two different colors yarn by Kondi technique. A weaver requires apart from himself two others for preparatory work. Notes <laughs>